What's up guys? I posted this little video on Instagram today. Put your head on my shoulder. So the feedback was pretty good. People were asking for tutorials already and some will even, uh, were even surprised that it was done in Blender. And I was actually surprised that people thought this because this was actually a really quick and simple thing I did in the morning. It's only lit with an HDR. So I'll break down the animation, break down how I rendered this thing and set up the camera in Blender. So let's stop wasting time and let's jump right into Blender so you can create your own little, hopefully viral videos. So this is the scene um, and I'll I'll break it down into animations first and then explain how I rendered this thing. So first off the bat, the Supra I had laying around as well as this champagne bottle with Moveal on it. I already had this. Uh, the road I kind of had because the road is only a principal shader, uh, wherever it is here, with um, textures.com, albedo, roughness and a normal map so that's all you need to know i guess about the scene so let's move into animation so the car is only rotating on this axis so let's scale this in this is a linear vectorized axis uh, important is that the uh, point of rotation the origin is like in the front axle i just did this by hand real quick so it rotates around the front so if i rotate it here it kind of does donuts that's really it so the only other thing that is moving on this car are the wheels i just quickly joined these two wheels i went into edit mode of the wheel i took a loop and shift s and added a um a 3D cursor there, and then right click, uh, set origin to 3D cursor. So that's how I added this wheel. So now, not this way, but this way, I can rotate the wheel like it was spinning. So let's hop into the animation. Also here, just a vectorized, linearized, simple um, curve, I guess. Uh, you vectorize with a V, by the way. Oh, one thing I forgot. So let's hop back into the Supra. Um, you see on this marker I set with M, I actually am slowing down the animation because let's watch the animation actually real quick. You see here it slows down. So that's the only kink I have. Also one thing um, I guess I should talk about real quick. Um, so in the video sequencer here, I have the sound and the song in case you're wondering how it's playing in the background. Okay, so that's all about the car. <clears throat> Two animations, the main car is moving and the wheels are spinning and the main car is having a stop on when like the beat drops that I marked with M. Okay, let's move on to the bottle. Um, so the bottle already has an origin, but it's in a bad spot. So tipping it would go into the floor. So I made a new origin. So I just added an empty and parented everything so the cork and the bottle to this empty so now if i tip it this way it tips over its corner so now look at its animation so this animation doesn't do anything until the beat drops the red curve is the tipping so you see i it kind of accelerates and then slows down i just like this because it really hits in and then slows down. I just like this. And the other two curves are just very slight, maybe not even needed. You see in the empty, it kind of um, twists away just like this. Um, so yeah, not really needed. I just wanted to give it a bit more movement so it's not too cheap and simple. Okay, um, that's the bottle. Let's move on to the cork. What does the cork do? Let's hop into the animation. Again, a simple linear animation, no rocket science here. So on my mark, bloop it pops out that's it and as you can see it doesn't even pop out forever but in the camera view it's gone i think that is everything about animation so let's move on to how this boy was rendered okay so let's hop into the camera first thing i did here i started with 26 millimeters actually and then because iphone cameras have 26 millimeters and then i moved up to a standard full frame 35 millimeter lens i added a 2.8 f-stop which is default not only in blender but also on most lenses especially filming in the dark you could probably even go 1.8 or 1.4 and the focus object is just this cork um, so if i move it uh, here you see it gets out of focus so that's it. Um, okay, let's move on to the lighting. Uh, the bottle, I guess, isn't interesting, but I'll show you anyways. It's also just a physical-based bottle, a bot-purchased asset. Um, 
The light is based on an HDR uh, from HDR Haven. It's called Hansa Platz. I only use the 2K, so it uh, renders fast. So if we go to render mode, you'll see that it's just this HDR. That's it. Um, I rotated the HDR. If you go to the world settings, you see I have 464. I just did this by hand because this just looked better light wise. So now you see this is very popping because I did add one more thing that is not shown here. So let's unhide it are these three planes. And what these planes do is kind of creating shadows, but mainly clipping away reflections. So these are only emission shaders with zero strength, so just the unlit black plane. And you see um, if I turn them off, like the light is really busting. Um, and if I turn them on, just creating a bit shadow, just getting stuff under control here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's all. That's really all. Uh, so let's play it again. One thing. Oh, 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 that's not all. One thing you're probably wondering about all this video. I almost forgot. God damn it. So let's go back to render mode. Or actually, material mode is also enough. You're probably excited about this water effect. You're like, wow, how did he make this? This looks so amazing. But wait, now it looks like fucking shit. Um, yes, because I did nothing except add a plane. Uh, so I just went to YouTube and searched, um, I think just cork VFX. And then I just found this black and white video of splashes. So I just cropped it and uh, put it on a plane. <laughs> I didn't even uh, center it. Like uh, that's how much effort I put into this. So let's <coughs> jump into the shader. So here's the video. I'm starting it on frame 100 um to like trigger the animation and i only plugged it into alpha and emission and emission 4 so it's just this white glowing stuff that's really it and to disable it actually because i was uh, lazy i just put scale to zero and then scale to one <laughs> so uh that's how i turned this splash off because otherwise it would be also already on so that's how i just enable it and so also the denoiser doesn't freak out with this transparent plane. Like here it does freak out a little bit actually, but yeah, whatever it worked out. It was just a quick little uh, thing I made. I don't know how long this took, maybe like one or two hours with rendering. I don't know. So um, almost done. So then I rendered this out. I did not render a MP4. I did as a test, but at the end I rendered JPEGs onto my desktop, highly professional into the Supra folder. Once that was finished, I went to Resolve DaVinci. You could uh, skip this step, but I'll show you what I did. So I did no color grading, nothing, because I was lazy as hell and just wanted to upload it and be finished quick. But what I did was add a camera shake. So right when the beat drops, right here, doop, um, uh, I have, um, it's a bit hard to explain what exactly I did, but I have keyframes, zero, one frame after, 0.9, this is just by hand, and then it fades out till here kind of with the sound to zero so the shake you see is like there and then fades out and the shake is actually default setting i only uh, turned on motion blur so that's really all i did and in the end if i uh, mute this um this was so weird and flickering i don't know what the hell happened here like it just looked so boring that i actually just covered it up with these glitches um, that's really the reason why I added this glitch. There's no real reason for it. It's really just because this end scene was a bit strange. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's how I made it. This was a super quick project. I just did it in the morning and some people asked for a tutorial. So it's not really a tutorial, but I guess a breakdown. And I hope that this will help you a lot already and also show you how simple certain things can be. So goodbye.